Now let me also make clear what output result really does here. This does something which is called call a function, which I'll dive into later, so we can ignore this for now. In the end, it triggers some code which I defined here in vendor.js, and this code uses two pieces of information which I kind of forward to it. Again, we'll figure out the details of what this is and how we use it later, because we'll write our own functions then. But in the end, I push this data to this thing in Wender. What this does is it takes these two pieces of information it gets and writes them into my HTML code, you could say. Because ultimately what that code does, without diving into the details, which we'll also cover later in the course because it's a bit more advanced, what this code does is it targets two places, two pieces in our of our HTML code, these two lines essentially, and overrides the data which is hard-coded in there with dynamically derived data, well, with the data you're forwarding here. So with your result and with this empty string. That's what's happening here. 